Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you the most unusual vehicles in the world. Before we start the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming updates. Let's start the video. Number 1. Meite Hilais. More than a simple industrial project, it is a vision, a dream, a feeling, and a wish. We wanted to open access to all the cool riding experiences and sensations to everyone. Consequently, we designed a safe, steady, and smart individual vehicle that is really easy to use while being incredibly fun. Allowing non-riders people to feel like a surfer, a skater, or simply really cool people with total control of the situation and the balance is the first concept of the project Mete Hulais. The frame is a rigid tubular structure of a large aluminum section. That way, the vehicle can be used by a person up to 440 pounds. It is resistant, but it is also powerful and efficient. We've developed specific motorized 10 wheels that can wield electric power from 500 do to 2000 w each. It means that in the four-wheel drive version, the vehicle can wield electric power up to 8000 do. It is safe too. Powerful electronic brake system, high-quality independent suspensions, large directional plate, and strengthened front and back holding arms. Number 2. Peel P50. The Peel P50 is a world record breaker. It is listed in the 2010 Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest production car ever made. This three-wheeled microcar was originally manufactured by the Peel Engineering Company on the Isle of Man for only three years, from 1962 to 1965. It was advertised as being the perfect size to fit one adult and one shopping bag. No room for the kids in this tiny car. It only has one door, which is on the left-hand side, and one headlight. Going backwards in the Peel P50 was not an easy option as the car has no reverse gear and needs to be maneuvered backward physically using a handle at the car's rear. Only 50 of these unusual little cars were originally manufactured and only 27 are known to still be in existence. In March 2016, one sold at an auction for a record 176,000 US dollars. Number 3. Sideways VW Camper Van The 24 Hours of Lemons rewards creativity in race car building. And there's no one more creative than racer Jeff Block. Known as Speedy Cop, Block is famous for building race cars an upside-down Camaro, a helicopter, a Cessna, and a hot dog stand. His latest creation is called the Trippy Tippy Hippie Van. And as you can see, it's a Volkswagen van tipped on its side. Actually, it's a 1988 Volkswagen Rabbit chassis with a 1.8-liter 16-valve GTI engine with bus body panels attached sideways. Block wanted to build a sideways race car, and this 1975 VW camper van with its box-like shape was the perfect vehicle to do it. For visibility, Block and his team used one-way vinyl mounted to various body parts that was see-through within the car but maintained the appearance of the bus' original body panels. The team even printed a vinyl image of the underside of the bus to make it really look like it's on its side. Block says the bus is unsurprisingly top-heavy, but grippy and controllable on track. It's truly a sight to behold, especially when it lifts up two inside wheels in cornering. Number 4. Sofa Car This is a sofa built by former Wheeler dealers host Ed China and yes, it is road legal, somehow. Car Throttle recently had the opportunity to spend a day with China and his drivable sofa on the streets of the UK. To say this vehicle was unusual would be a huge understatement. China holds numerous Guinness World Records for strange vehicles, including the fastest bed, milk float, shed, and toilet. His sofa once hit 87 miles per hour, 140 kilometers slash H and has since been modified into something that can be driven on the road. To see how the vehicle sofa performs in various everyday driving situations, the reviewer put it through a series of tests. For starters, the weird contraption was driven at slow speeds through a number of British towns before it was taken to a McDonald's drive through Its motorway credentials were then put to the test with a 70 miles per hour, 112 kilometers slash eight, blast down the open road. Watching a sofa cruise along the motorway with a Leapard print must have left lots of fellow motorists speechless. One concern is how safe you really are in that thing. 
And obviously, the answer is you're not. Clearly. We'd hate to think what would happen if, heaven forbid, it were involved in some kind of accident. Color us boring. But we think that wearing helmets and body protection, like bikers do, instead of mere goggles, wouldn't be such a bad idea. Number 5. Banana Car In 2009, UK-born Steve Braithwaite, a resident of Michigan, USA, started constructing the unique Big Banana Car. Based on a 1993 Ford F-150 pickup truck, Steve took until 2011 to finish construction of the world's longest banana car. At 22 feet 10.5 in 6.97 meters, in length and 10 feet 2 in 3.09 meters, in height, the banana is built on the truck chassis using rebar, reinforced steel bars, chicken wire and polyurethane foam that was sculpted, covered in fiberglass, and painted into its unique fruit appearance. With a top speed of 85 miles per hour, 136.79 kilometers slash H, the 8 mech V8 engine gets about 15 miles per US gallon, 18.01 miles per UK gallon, propelling the banana car down the road with three passengers seated in a line behind the driver. The car cost around $25,000, then approximately 16,000 pounds, 19,000 euros, and has driven on the highway from Michigan to Miami, Florida, Houston, Texas, Providence, Rhode Island, and everywhere in between. Number 6. Glorious 8-Wheeler Toyota We've seen all kinds of modified cars over the years. Everything from high-performance, stripped-out track weapons to wild donks and crazy jacked-up safari builds. What we haven't seen is cars with lots of extra wheels that serve no legitimate purpose whatsoever. This heavily modified Toyota Vios has those in spades. Hailing from West Java, Indonesia, this build is the creation of Roni Gunawa, who owns the local Jima Ripa taxi company. PricePrice.com reports the outlandish build cost on the order of 90 million Indonesian rupiah, or somewhere in the realm of $6,000 US dollars. Based on a front-wheel drive Toyota Vios sedan, a successor to the Tercel, it's fitted with two additional sets of rear wheels. One set runs along the ground as you might expect from any garden variety six-wheeler. The final set of wheels, however, is mounted higher up, running on top of the lower set of wheels for no other reason except that it looks cool. The additional wheels are sprung in order to keep the top set of wheels in contact with the lower set so that friction will turn them as the car moves. Number 7. Cadillac Cyclone One of the last cars designed by Harley Earl, the Cyclone was a testbed for futuristic styling and technology. Built on a 104 wheelbase chassis, it featured a front-mounted 390 cubic inches engine, rear-mounted automatic transaxle, and an all-wheel independent suspension. Uniquely, the Cyclone's engine exhaust was ported out just ahead of the front wheels. It also featured a radar-operated collision avoidance system, with the radar sensors mounted in twin nose cones on the front of the car. Of the Cyclone's stylistic features, the bubble top canopy was the most prominent. Silver coated for UV protection, the canopy automatically opened along with the sliding electrically operated doors. The canopy could also be stowed in the rear compartment, where it rested on a special airbag base. That's all for today. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for upcoming amazing and informative video.